There's a strong history of military service in my family. When I speak to voters, I talk about this because one of the most important duties of the Lieutenant Governor is to be the veterans advocate for the state of Missouri, to look out for and support our returning men and women of the armed forces and their families. My father, Gunnery Sergeant Galen Humphrey, was a career Marine who went missing in action in Vietnam. His death had a profound effect on my entire family, but so too did his commitment to this country. A recent reunion found several generations of my family who were inspired to join the Marines because of my dad's service and sacrifice. I thought I'd have some of them tell you about the man who formed my commitment to this country and the men and women who protect it. He was a spit and polish type, very high type, very, very proud of being a Marine. He was the reason that I got into the Marine Corps when he came through and visited me as a little boy and I saw him in his flight uniform and we talked about the Marine Corps. It definitely was a, an influence on me going into the Marine Corps as well as my nephews going in. My great uncle Galen was a navigator in the squadron I currently serve in. I get to fly around and, as they say, chew some of the same dirt as he did. He had been a Marine and that um, he, he was on C-130s, which is actually what I did. He was a navigator in a C-130, which uh, in the pre-computer aboard the aircraft days, I just was gifted, gifted. Her dad, of course, was killed in action in Vietnam after he was declared missing in action, February 1st, 1966. To be blunt with you, it was the time I think my dad used the phrase later that magic went out of life. My father and his other brother Calvin both served successfully in the Second World War as Marines on the island of Iwo Jima. But they both survived that. They were both wounded, but they lived. There was great hope that Gillen was a prisoner, a very long sustained great hope. And part of it was there was never a bit of wreckage found. What was hard about it was the fact that it was missing in action and there was no confirmation of his death. Uh, to this day, he's been declared dead, but um, there's no real guarantee of you know, what happened. I know that Galen's father, before he passed in the 60s, he told my dad, uh, Robert Humphrey, he said, isn't it lucky we've had three boys serving in these wars in World War II, in Korea, in Vietnam, and none of them have been killed. So, uh, R.B. Humphrey took it to his grave. It is, just didn't feel like his son was dead. It's just always a part of you to have that, just that unbelievable loss, even more than my father and other uncle's wounds there at Iwo Jima. Galen's death in Vietnam, um, it persists among all my cousins. In the squadron, there are a couple of plaques and memorials up to the Marines that were lost Vietnam era and his name is still on a few of them and I don't generally advertise it to everybody out there but occasionally someone will put it together because they'll see the name and then they'll come down and ask me like hey are you by any chance related to the Galen the Humphrey that's on the on the plaque up in the ready room and, and you know I tell him yeah he was my great uncle he's a navigator out here when Susan was county auditor she was invited to give an address to the veterans and at the time, I don't think they were aware that Susan had lost a father uh, after having been a decade missing in action in, in Vietnam. Uh, and in the course of that speech, <laughs> she, you know, just very matter-of-factly imparted that she was from a family who had endured a father in missing in action status. And she had watched her grandmother, you know, staring at the television set of the of the POWs coming home, thinking she was going to see Galen walk across that, uh, that television screen. The impact that had on her family. She just imparted pretty subtly there on that Veterans Day speech, and it was, uh, you can see she understands veteran affairs like most don't. <clears throat> Excuse me. Missouri veterans and their families will find no stronger ally in state government. I will fight to make sure that each and every one of them get all of the benefits they were promised and aid them in cutting through the red tape. Stand with me to take back the Lieutenant Governor's office so that I can stand up for our veterans the way they deserve.